Man, you was chilling. All you had to do was chill. You had one job and you blew it. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, it's your man Big Jones, what it do? Normally I don't really comment on news stories like this, but this, this really stuck out to me. Apparently Oliver Peck, one of the judges from Ink Master, is in the news recently because he got busted doing blackface. Apparently some photos surfaced uh, on the internet from a long time ago when he was at a costume party. Now the problem with this is there's two pictures of two separate costumes. That means he did that on two separate occasions. Unless he's doing some kind of Halloween costume change, and I mean who does that? You pick one costume and you stick with it. For those of you who don't watch Spike TV, Oliver Peck is one of the judges from the show Ink Master, the show with Dave Navarro, where they bring people in, different tattoo artists, and they have challenges. It's a reality show that focuses around tattooing. And you can see these pictures on the internet here came up of him, uh, one dressed up as a basketball player, and he painted his entire body like really super dark brown. I mean, this is a picture of him without the makeup on, and now here he is with it on. You can see he's significantly darker. These pictures were pulled from his MySpace page. Now, who the hell has a MySpace page? Nobody has a MySpace page, man. This is 2020. In fact, the news report even said that they were from a long time ago, but they surfaced and as it goes in our society, if you've done something wrong when you were young and stupid and now you're popular and people want a piece of you, now, you know, now it's okay to take a shot at you. Man, I really hope those pictures of me and my mom's bra don't surface anytime soon. That's a wrap for me. First of all, I don't know what it takes to be a good tattoo artist to the point where you can judge other people's tattoos. I mean, the guy who put the Hello Kitty tattoo on my butt cheek seemed like a decent enough guy. I don't know if I'd want him on my TV every day. There's enough negativity out there that I don't need to add to it with weighing in on things that aren't positive. I try to keep things positive. The only reason I'm even talking about this today is because this is the only situation like this where something like this has come up about a celebrity and I kind of get what happened. He put out on Instagram that he did something stupid and he saw and those pictures were from a long time ago and he's a different person and I get that. I've done things when I was a kid that I was young and stupid for doing and I didn't realize how bad they were at the time and you know I've grown up I'm an adult now you know I don't do stupid shit like that. Well you know not all the time. But in Oliver's case with this whole blackface thing two big factors come to mind. The first is who was he hanging around with that thought this was funny? And that's where it kind of hit me. Oliver Peck is this little tiny scrawny dude that is really only famous because he's covered in tattoos. That tells me that he was probably hanging around with a bunch of people that he thought were cool at the time. He was like putting on that makeup saying, oh, I'm going to be the life of the party. This is going to get me in with all the cool kids because he's actually taking pictures of himself putting on the makeup making himself all black. I mean, who thought this was a good idea? Obviously, if Oliver Peck was hanging around with guys that thought this was funny or this was acceptable, obviously he was going through a period of his life where he was hanging around with some bums. If there had been just one person of color in his little circle of friends, they would have told him, Oliver, I don't think Tyrone is going to like that, okay? I'm Tyrone, and fuck this guy and his tattoos. Nobody was there to correct him and say, Oliver, that's fucked up. You shouldn't do that. All of those things I could forgive. All of those things I'm not really, really tripping on. It's Oliver Peck. Who cares, okay? The thing I'm tripping the most about is this picture. What the hell is that? N-Man? He's a freaking superhero? What the hell is that? And seriously, who even came up with that? That's the only place where I'm like, Oliver, come on, dude. I'm black. I got two black parents, but I'm not even comfortable saying that word because, you know, my card might have expired. I got to check it. This Halloween, I'm going to be a superhero. But no, not Spider-Man or Iron Man. I'm going to be Nigga Man. Wow. I'm telling you people, it's 2020. You need to increase your racial posse. If you don't have a white dude, a black dude, a Latino dude, an Asian dude, you gotta have all kinds of people in your posse, man. It's like stocks. You gotta diversify your portfolio, homie. Oliver, you're gonna be fine, okay? I'm sure they're gonna keep him on Ink Master as a consultant or an executive producer. I'm sure he's been with the show for like 13 years. Wasn't he married to that LA tattoo chick? I mean, that really goes to show you that, you know, you get tattoos and stuff and 
you can put you in a whole different social club. Not me, man. I work too hard on this body to cover it up and let somebody ride on it. I'm too sexy for tattoos. Too sexy for the ah. Uh. I mean, take a really good look at Oliver Peck. Look at this guy. Toothpick that he's always chewing on? That's some redneck stuff, man. You, you guys have seen the pictures of the farmer who's like... Chewing that piece of straw in his mouth? That's what he's doing. Oliver, what kind of crew was you rolling with that thought that was cool? I mean, what did they say to you when you showed up? Was good, knee grumps. Hey guys, thanks for watching the show. I took a little bit of a hiatus there, but the big man's back. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Big Jones Big Life, and I'll see you soon. Later.